Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit, okay? So let's see what's coming out for you guys, Capricorn. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. I missed you. <laughs> I definitely missed you guys. So let's see what's going on for Capricorn spirit. Messages for Cappies. What do they need to hear? In the bottom of the deck, we have caution. Okay. Hmm. What else? What else for Capricorn? So this is a warning sign here. Um, what else for Capricorn? So we have Blackberry Invasive. And this popped out too, we have Honey Ambrosia. So, I'm picking up somebody is trying to invade your personal space. Somebody is trying to uh, overstep their boundaries with you here. Let me see what this Ambrosia is. Well, it says honey, so let's see. <clears throat> Page 58. So it says, um, this deck, by the way, is called Witch's Kitchen Oracle Cards. Okay. A very witchy deck. I like it. <laughs> so it says, honey's guidance. It says, allow me to add a little sweetness to your life as I help you out of the sticky situation you've fallen into. I am food for the gods, the celestial nectar who has been worshipped for thousands of years by almost every culture for my amber hue delights. Drizzle me over baked goods or stir me in a hot drink to eliminate the bitter taste you've experienced lately. Keep going. Your hard work will pay off just like the honey bee who works tirelessly. My golden liquid has graced royal tables from breakfast to dinner in the forms of honey and mead. Time for a little honey magic as you add me to spells. My potency magnifies results. My cleansing, healing, and antiseptic powers are immortal and I guarantee the longevity of your success as you taste ambrosia. Okay. So, yeah, there's definitely somebody here that, that you're dealing with, Capricorn, that could be trying to, like, invade your space. But I feel like Spirit is trying to protect you here. You could be needing to do a ritual, okay, using honey. Let me see something. So it says, uh, recommended recipe, salve for wounds and infections. Take equal parts of olive oil, raw organic honey, and beeswax. Melt the beeswax in a double boiler and stir in the honey and olive oil. Add a few pinches of turmeric or a spice of your choice. Let cool to room temperature, adding extra be beeswax or oil until a desired texture is reached. Hmm. So, I don't know. Can you do rituals with honey, guys? <laughs> yeah, to add to spell work, that's something that I have to look up. Cause, um... If you guys are into that type of thing anyways, a lot of you guys maybe aren't into spell work or whatever. Spell work isn't bad when it's being done to help you. Not to uh, not to try to back bind someone to someone else or whatever the fuck that people be doing. But okay, let's just see what's going on here. So there could be um, somebody in your space that you don't really want in your space or you don't need in your space. Spirit is trying to show you that uh, you don't need this person around. I'm hearing something about setting you up. So you can have somebody that's around you that's trying to set you up. They want to know your business. This is why they're in your personal space to set you up or to try to um, just see what you have going on to keep you held back. Okay. So what's going on for Capricorn? And bottom of the deck is check yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So right under caution. That goes with the caution card perfectly. So uh, you guys could need to um, kind of like, there could be somebody that's just pissing you off. Okay. Because I feel like, yeah, you left them out in the cold. Here we have trash. Yeah. You left them out in the cold. And I feel like somebody's trying to like um, take you out of your character. Okay. A bit. So let's, let's see. Somebody's doing shit on purpose to... Um, yeah, make you mad. We have cyberbully. You are being bullied online or they are has suffered from it, etc. 
Mm -hmm. Then we have Dirty Offer. What else for Capricorn? Yeah, we have Family Issues, Salt or Sugar, Looks Can Be Deceiving. And then we have Karmic Friends. I'm getting extra cards for you guys today. I didn't intend on pulling extra, but I will. <laughs> So let's see, um, we have karmic friends. Can't fully trust them, tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Mm -hmm. So these could be, like I said, it could be karmic friends, karmic, karmic family members. It could be an ex of yours that is trying to um, deceive you in a way. Okay, these, these could be people that are talking about you online. I feel like somebody's trying to ruin your reputation or um, make people look at you differently because you don't fuck with them no more i just feel like you don't fuck with somebody no more and they're, they're just mad and spirit is asking you to keep calm or um be aware that if you do step out of your your body or out of yourself to um indulge in the bullshit or go back and forth with this person it could lead to something terrible that could get you in trouble but we're gonna see what is a uh, check yourself for capricorn spirit What is check yourself? Uh, yeah, see, five of swords. Yeah, so um, stay, stay magical. <laughs> stay in your power. Stay strong. Stay confident. Okay, with the queen of wands behind the five of swords. Okay, you're a star here. Or you could be. Somebody's trying to make you overthink something. They're trying to make you, uh, I don't know. They could be trying to cause you to self-sabotage or do something. What's this check yourself for Capricorn? Okay, the Ace of Cups with the Moon. Could be dealing with the Cancer. Cancer coming out in everybody's shit. And the um, Five of Wands. So for some of you I'm picking up, there's like a... Somebody like online or somebody could be doing something and talking about your person or talking about you. Okay. I feel like somebody is trying to keep things a secret between you and them. Or this is you going towards new love. Just period. Spirit is telling you to uh, don't let your emotions get the best of you here. Yeah. This could cause a physical fight or altercation or something like that between a lot. Maybe it's a lot of people here that's trying to go against you. <clears throat> Okay, but I feel like spirit is telling you to um, watch yourself. Also, watch your, um, your your fears and your anxieties and your worries. I feel like you're trying to go towards new love, but you're scared that it's going to start an argument or a fight. And um, spirit is trying to remind you that they have you protected. You're not going to, even if they try to do something, I feel like you, you're protected. You're just not going to, um, you, you don't have anything to worry about. Bottom of the deck on here is uh, forbidden. So, <clears throat> I just feel like somebody's like trespassing or just invading your privacy. They just, somebody doesn't know their place. You have to set boundaries with someone or you're trying to, but they're just causing a lot of fucking confusion. I feel like, uh, yeah, your emotions could be getting the best of you or, or whatever this is. What's the moon? strength see yeah you could be dealing with a leo so yeah i feel like spirit is also trying to warn you and caution you about going back into your old ways indulging in the drama or the bullshit here somebody's like in competition with you they're these comic friends or whatever this is okay spirit is trying to tell you to stay strong and keep pushing through whatever this chaos and this drama is about and keep going towards what you want to go towards which is this new love or just it's a reminder to, to um show yourself love throughout this don't beat yourself up or don't feel like you're weak or whatever these people are weak it's not you or your person what's this five of wands five of cups yeah definitely conflict in the queen of cups king of cups For some of you, this is your baby mother or your baby daddy that's trying to keep you stuck or hemmed up in some shit. Okay. Um, 
there's some disappointment or some sadness around a situation here. Definitely, it could be your baby mother. Doesn't have to be that's like fighting with you or trying to be in competition with you or whatever. It's very weird. This could be your own mother. Doesn't have to be. Who's this Queen of Cups? Who's this Queen of Cups? Okay, the Four of Swords. So this, this person is stressing you out. Somebody is stressed. There's like a lot of thinking going on, a lot of contemplating certain things. A lot of uh, the Four of Swords to me in this situation is giving like either depressed or being overwhelmed. Somebody's overwhelming you or you're just thinking a lot about something. Some of you guys could be thinking about a conflict here. Some of y'all could just be thinking about the feelings that you have for somebody. Like you have a lot of love for someone, but there's conflict between you and this person. And it's stressing you out to the point where this is something that you think about when you lay down and go to sleep or whatever. But I feel like there's like regret or remorse or just a lot of disappointment and sadness here that uh, it could be like grieving or something like that that's going on here. Hmm. So let's see, what is um cyberbully? <laughs> Karma. Karma's gonna get this person's ass. Yeah, five of pentacles. Hmm, what's this cyberbully right here? So somebody's in comp I feel like somebody's in competition with your person. Or if you're the this person's person, somebody's in competition with you here when it comes down to your person. What else for cyberbully? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, King of Cups. So King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you you, you and another person are in love with each other. There's a strong emotional bond here. Yeah, so so whatever this bullying bullshit is, okay, I feel like it's causing this King of Cups to stay in their head or stay stuck in their head or they, they're kind of like uh, trying to overcome these negative thought patterns that could be stopping them. They're trying not to let nobody get into their head here. You guys could definitely be seeing 555. The Sun in Reverse is like a... This person could have a negative view on sharing emotions or feelings or love or whatever. But I feel like whatever this bullying is, somebody here is being bullied. They feel stuck in their head or this could be deep wounds and issues that somebody has to overcome before they can feel secure in a relationship. They could have been bullied a lot or they could have left an abusive relationship where they, they could have been like controlled or bullied or whatever the fuck. The sun in reverse is talking about feeling um, this person is like stuck in their ego. It could talk about um, oppression too, like uh, oppressing, like like feeling somebody like feels controlled or something is controlling this person's mind or this is they ass. I feel like whoever these bullies are, they're miserable. They're really fucking miserable. What's this uh, sun in reverse? Strong Leo energy is here. What's this sun in reverse? <clears throat> Eight of Wands. Knight of Swords. For some of you, I'm picking up, you could be feeling this person's energy. I don't know. You could be feel like, feeling that they're they're suffering from something or something like that. Okay, but the sun in reverse, this just talks about uh, with the eight of wands. This person could be like overly excited to do something. The sun in reverse could talk about feeling um, extra, like excessively enthusiastic or something like that. But I'm trying to figure out a way that I can say it <laughs> that will make sense to you guys. Or they just oh, this could be this could be feeling a lack of enthusiasm. They have some type of, some type of unrealistic expectation that they need to um get rid of. This person is sad. I feel like they're a bit sad, but they're moving forward anyway. Is what I feel like. There could definitely be some communication online or communication coming towards this person about just crazy shit.
What's the sun in reverse with the eight of wands? Let's see what this is. The tower. Yeah, they're having a tower moment. Whoever this is, your person, doesn't have to be. It could be somebody, whoever it is. Could be dealing with an Aries with a tower. There's a cycle closing out in this person. I just feel like they're a little bit depressed or they're sad or something like that. But definitely a tower moment is here where this person is a bit, they're, they're just a, a bit down. I feel like this person is scared of being judged too, which is a problem. So they're letting this bullying or whatever this is affect them or stop them from dealing with you. I feel like they're seeing though that it's just competition. You got people fighting over you here, um, Capricorn. There could be people wanting to be with you, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like this person is scared to express their feelings because they, they, they think that you're dealing with somebody else or whatever. And whole time you're sitting over here in the five of cups, like you're sad. And all you can do is think about this person and you're trying to make shit work while they're sitting over here sad too. So it's like y'all marrying each other. The sun in reverse, the five of cups, this is sadness. Y'all not facing each other either. King of cups is this way, queen of cups is that way. You're trying to stay strong and maybe go towards new love. But I just feel like, uh, or or maybe just focus on your self-love. But whatever it is, y'all are marrying each other. But there's different things going on in you guys' lives here. You know what I'm saying? It's just different dynamics. <laughs> but... This tower moment, whatever this tower moment that's coming up is, or whatever this is, is going to happen pretty quickly. Something is going to um, release this person from whatever this thinking is, I feel like. What's this Eight of Swords? It's like they keep thinking about something over and over and over again. Or this is you. Yeah, Nine of Wands. This person feels very guarded or defensive, or they're just having a tough time getting through something. But they're being persistent. They're not giving up. The Nine of Wands is not giving up here. Like on the verge of giving up, yes, but I feel like they're not going to because they see you as their happiness. You're somebody that's stable. You're secure. Um, you're a good mother or father figure. For some of you, this is about this person's family. <clears throat> they have to set boundaries with their family members and hold on to their finances because there could be somebody here, this wife energy, maybe somebody that they were married to or whatever, that's trying to hold on to them for finances or to keep the family together. Yeah, this person, or this is you blocking somebody. But uh, nonetheless, I just feel like this person is very guarded right now and they're not happy with how they're moving, okay? They let this bullying or whatever this is get to them as well and all that, but, hmm. <clears throat> What's this dirty offer right here? The Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Seven of Swords in Reverse and the Knight of Wands. Hmm. So there's like a confession that somebody is trying to make here or somebody is going to make. Okay, this is a, maybe somebody is going to confess that they cheated or you found something out here about somebody. The fact that somebody has been in and out with you or they've been a player or whatever the fuck. I feel like somebody's just very smart. I feel like somebody is scatterbrained. <laughs> like somebody's like all over the place. There's a lot of thinking going on, a lot of fear, a lot of worrying. And I just feel like... I don't know, but Seven of Swords in Reverse is definitely a big, like, I'm hearing, like, a scandal coming out. It's a secret. The High Priestess, you already know what this is. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You already know what the secret is, but I feel like somebody here needs to tell you, so I feel like they're on their way to tell you whatever this is. This could be a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. doesn't have to be. Somebody, <clears throat> you're being enlightened right here. You're going through a deep shadow period. You're going through, you're doing some shadow work here, but you're definitely being spiritually enlightened about something this person i feel like there's a confession about um why they ghosted you why they were in and out okay i feel like that's what's eating somebody up the fact that they have to tell you this truth what's this uh knight of wands right here hmm knight of pentacles in reverse five of swords keep poking out with the temperance 
So I feel like I feel like you found something out about somebody. Somebody went snooping, or your person went snooping and found something out about uh, whatever they were going through, which set them free here. Somebody's like uh, dealing with family that are like they're they're money hungry, or this person is finding out something about um, the the reason why they're not stable or secure in their finances or just secure in their life in general. Okay, this is an energy of um. Somebody could have some type of addictions here that's coming out or coming to light that somebody could be getting help with. It could be with the hermit. This could be like getting counseling, okay, to receive help about whatever this is. I just feel like shit is all over the place, can uh, Capricorn. I'm about to call you cancer. <laughs> cancer been coming out in everybody's reading. Somebody's trying to come towards you with a dirty offer. But I feel like the secret's are already out about this person. So it's like, are you delusional? Why the fuck do you keep trying to come back if you know that your, your secret is out? Somebody here thinks that you're weak or thinks that your person is weak as fuck. <clears throat> and that's what this is. They think that they can come back in whenever they feel like it to offer something. And it's just like, no. Somebody's coming in as a knight of wands, but they're not coming in stable as a knight of pentacles. That's in reverse. It's like they're trying to use you or they're trying to do something weird here. And I feel like your intuition is going to tell you this about this person. And you're going to block their ass. It's already been a ten of swords situation. Something is over anyways because of a betrayal. And I just feel like this person is just like a lot of audacity. What's the seven of swords in reverse? Yeah, seven of cups. This person... Yeah, two of cups, the four of wands. So some of you guys are going towards your soulmate. You're trying to reconcile with your soulmate or reunite with somebody that you're in love with. But then you have this other person over here that's coming back to try to offer you something. But I feel like they're using you. This person could be a bad parent figure too. They're a bad mother or bad father. They're a deadbeat. Can, Knight of Pentacles in reverse is a damn deadbeat. This person doesn't think about anything else but sex. I feel like uh, they do have some type of addiction or something like that. They're like fantasizing about you. They're trying to cause you confusion though. Whatever this is, this Seven of Swords, there's, there's a lie or something that's been exposed that's not really a lie. I mean, how can I say it? Somebody has been exposed for spreading rumors or lies or gossiping about someone and trying to cause confusion in the situation. And now they're trying to come back to clear something up, but I feel like it's going to make it worse. They're trying to offer you something, and I feel like you're going to go within to really see that this person is just a loser. They can't offer you anything stable, secure. They're not trustworthy either. Yeah, the emperor. What's the what's this hermit right here? This person is a cheater too. They have a lot of options. They're giving you something that's definitely not going to be stable. What's this hermit? Yeah, the devil. Yeah, this is you, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. There's like some toxic energies that somebody is battling. They're trying to get out of this toxic energy and get away from this devil energy so that way they can uh go towards their wish fulfillment somebody is trying to be single or they're trying to um just be self su uh, sufficient be independent be on their own i feel like these family members want them to stay stuck because they, maybe they're the sole provider or they're the, they're they do something here for their family or this is you that do something for your family Somebody is doing some weird shit here. I don't know. What's this devil right here? What's this devil? Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's just very superficial. Somebody's just a user. They're a scam artist. I'm hearing something about hacking. Somebody could have been trying to hack your shit. Or they could have been trying to steal from you. They could have been doing something. And now they're trying to come back to do the same shit again. Somebody's delusional. <laughs> if they ass is really delusional, they are, whoever this is. Somebody's very codependent too. Very, very money hungry. Just two of swords, two of wands. Somebody's making a decision with the ace of wands to go towards something that they're passionate about. Yeah, go towards a new beginning. They're not going to keep dealing with this, this nasty ass energy. Somebody has a bad uh, addiction or something like that, especially when it comes down to, to finances. They're very 3D based. Somebody is just not spiritually inclined at all. Okay, and I feel like you are and you see where the confusion is coming in at in your life and it's coming from somebody else that's trying to... I mean, obviously, if you're not um, aware of what's going on, you could be at fault too because you need to be aware of your surroundings and the people that you fuck with. But I'm just saying, 
you could be innocent in the situation or your person could and there's somebody that's trying to confuse them or this person is if it's not anybody else i feel like it is but if it's not for some of you this is just this person trying to work through their um <clears throat> their superficial ways because that could be why this person they could have a lot of options and shit like that but i feel like this is a test somebody's coming back to test this person to see if they're going to choose the light or the dark and this is what the shadow work is for because there's definitely the devil is right behind this, this person or just right behind you <laughs> Just period. It's like as soon as you make a good decision or do something else, the devil is right there waiting for you to fuck up. So what's family issues? What's family issues, spirit? Thank you. The fool could be dealing with an Aquarius, Aries. The Hierophant could be dealing with the Taurus and the Two of Wands. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Six of Cups. You guys could be saying 666 or 66. So I feel like somebody has made a decision to take a leap of faith and start a new beginning. Okay, and go towards somebody that uh, some of you guys could be seeing in the public eye. You guys could be spiritual gurus here or you're a leader, a teacher. Or somebody is stepping up into a leadership position here. There could be a, a partnership coming in with the two of wands, the hierophant that you're trying to take a risk with doing or going towards, or this is your person coming towards you. Yeah, bottom of the deck is coming in after you. So this person, there's somebody coming in. Ooh. <laughs> we have, okay, coming in after you. Then we have getting a room, hotel, motel, suite, business, or pleasure. Then we have incarcerated, locked up, about to be, always in and out. And then we have promiscuous, sleeps around, a hoe, free for all, sleeps with your man. Somebody could be going to jail for being a prostitute here. You know, you know, you know, like the street walkers, they, if they get seen by the police doing this shit, they're going to jail. <laughs> so it could be one of those type of situations. It could be anything. Somebody just sleeps around a lot. They had, that could be the addiction here. Somebody doesn't know how to control their sexual urges, whoever this is. But anywho, there, there's a, there's a decision that's being made here <clears throat> with the fool and the hierophant and the two of wands. Okay, this could mean travel. You could have to travel to make this decision because I feel like you're not seeing eye to eye with your family members or you're not seeing eye to eye with an ex or your baby mama, baby daddy. And I feel like you're making a decision to move forward here. Okay, I feel like... Uh... <clears throat> Somebody's finally listening to their spirit guides. <laughs> Just period. Or listening to somebody. Or listening to them damn selves. You could be getting advice about what to do here because a hierophant could be a priest, a, a spiritual guru, or, or <clears throat> a some type of religious advisor, a preacher. Or this is what you're becoming here. Yeah, it's time to conform to something or do something the right way. Okay, this could be a... You could be trying to create like new traditions or or new rituals of your own as well. What's this hierophant? Yeah, somebody just yeah, the Empress. So yeah, Taurus Libra energy. Some of you guys are very spiritual. Okay, you're very spiritual. This could be what this this person sees in you that they really like. You're very deep, especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius. I don't know why I feel the need to say that. You could be on the Aquarius Capricorn cusp, uh, Capricorn. I get that for Aquarius a lot. So um, there's a decision that's being made. There's like planning for the future here. Somebody sees you in their future, literally. Whoever this Empress is, you could be the Empress Capricorn. Or somebody, somebody sees you in their future here. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you and take this leap of faith and have the courage and the confidence to do this here. Okay, that could be what's going on. They don't give a fuck about this family issues or whatever the fuck. They're going to do whatever they want to do here, and that's good. Or this is you. Excuse me. You're very powerful, too. You're a very powerful manifester. You definitely are very spiritual. You don't play about God and, um, yeah, Ten of Cups. You're somebody's Ten of Cups here. Um, or somebody blocking their damn family out. Or blocking somebody out to go towards their Ten of Cups and work on a relationship. 
and you're very fertile at this time too so if you're trying to take this leap of faith or start a new business or create whatever this is for yourself go ahead and do it because your time is now okay uh i'm hearing something about sagittarius you could be dealing with the sag What's salt or sugar? Yep, <laughs> look at Sagittarius popping out, the temperance. <laughs> then we have the hangman with the four of cups. So I feel like you're being guided right now. Things are ha having to uh, take place in divine timing here. It's not, a, it's not, whatever this process is can be rushed. Okay, I do feel a sense of you feeling dissatisfied or feeling unhappy, maybe because you've been missing a lot of opportunities or there's something from your past that you've been stuck on. Things are kind of stagnant. It's moving kind of slow, but it's this is slowing you down so you can realize something or take heed to something here. With the hangman. Okay, yeah. You're, you're trying to take, um, or spirit is trying to get you to see something. here. You're seeing something for what it is. You're, ch you're sh shifting your perspective and you're seeing that what, what all that glitters is not gold type of thing is what I'm getting. Okay, with the, the hangman. Spirit could be telling you to come, go ahead and ignore an offer. Okay, ignore this offer, whatever this is. Whoever this person is that's trying to come back. Their ass has already been caught doing something. They're just delusional. They need help. This person needs to seek counseling. They need to seek the help that they need to seek before they come back to you or whatever the fuck this is. Because that shit is just crazy. <laughs> but And I feel like you're going towards somebody else anyway. This could be you, Capricorn, that this person is going towards that is more fitted, you, you know, for you. This is somebody that matches you on an energetic level. I just feel like somebody on your end or their end, somebody had to get through some bullshit or... or uh, go through something karmic before they could uh, deal with you here. Somebody had to clear out some karma. What's this four of cups? You could be getting a lot of dreams here, doing a lot of introspection. Your spirit guides could be sending you messages and signs here. So this is a caution type of thing. You need to be aware of something. What's the four of cups? Okay, yeah, the two of swords. So there's a decision that needs to be made here that you could be confused about. This is a betrayal here that already happened. So you need to listen to your intuition. Something is over. I feel like it's been over. This could be a divorce, but if it's not, it's just a betrayal. Whoever these friends are, it's time for you to leave them behind. Or this is your person. That's what they need to realize. The two of swords is like, you feel like you don't have all the answers or you can't make a final decision. Or this is a tough decision. Maybe you feel a bit overwhelmed. But something is, somebody around you is trying to deceive you or something is just not honest. Somebody's not honest with you, I'm hearing. Some of you guys are trying to make a decision if you want to reconcile with your soulmate or if you want to go back to this lifestyle that you were living with these karmics or whatever the fuck. Okay, I do feel like the devil is busy. They're trying to reel your ass back in. So... <laughs> there's that that's what the caution is what's this hangman so right now you feel stuck or your person does what's this hangman or you do wow the emperor right be between the hangman and the empress so yeah your person i mean it's time for somebody to step up and follow their own rules and um finally conform to something i feel like it's finally conforming to um Maybe settling down and being in a relationship that's meant for you to have at this time or whatever the fuck. But it's time to conform and do something here. This The emperor is somebody that's a leader. They step up to the plate. So like I said, this person is trying to become your vibrational match here. Some of you guys are leaders. You you definitely are in the spiritual. You do something in the spiritual realm here or whatever. You do something, some type of divination work or whatever. You're divine feminine. But your counterpart here needs to, they're trying to get their shit together. They need to shift their perspective, and I feel like they are doing that, or they're trying to here. Their intuition is telling them something, they just need to listen, or this is you. What's this karmic friends? Page of Cups of Judgment and the King of Wands. So... 
these comic friend <clears throat> comic friends and shit like that they're trying to come back for a second chance whoever these comic friends are they want a second chance with you they want you to forgive them or this is spirit telling you to forgive them you don't have to give second chances to nobody if you don't want to but there's apologies coming your way okay there's an expression of feelings here i feel like somebody from your past definitely wants to express how they feel about you they want to um uh, show you that they care they're going to assert themselves here and be bold and courageous and do this to uh, and apologize to you they're hoping that you will forgive them and maybe give them a second chance but whoever these karmic friends are they could be just people in the mix that are trying to stir up some shit but i feel like this person doesn't give a fuck they're still moving forward because they're showing in the reading or this is you somebody's still moving forward with what they want to do so being bullied and all that somebody's just standing strong in their um their position here they're not letting these karmic friends stir them the wrong way which is good for some of you a karmic friend here could be an aries Leo, or sagittarius doesn't have to be scorpio doesn't have to be just pointing out the signs that are that are here that are showing so um there's definitely somebody coming back from your past somebody went through some type of spiritual awakening and they're finding their confidence again but this is karma though as well with the judgment somebody's being judged for something they're under heavy judgment which is spirit is watching your person or watching you to see what you're going to do about a situation to see if you're going to choose a different path and finally make the decision which it looks like is happening to go towards your person or them come towards you or you're going to make a decision to go and be confused and be stuck and go with karmic idiots <clears throat> that don't mean you any well or any good so somebody's being watched heavily that's what i get with the judgment when the judgment comes out For some of you guys, this is about work too, where um, there's a position that that you could be trying, you could be trying to start a business. The King of Wands is usually, with the King of Pentacles to me, is somebody that um, wants to start their own business. They're a leader. They're not meant to be working for nobody else. So it could mean that you are um, trying to start your own business, or it could be that you're at a job or whatever that you're you're being judged here, like some like your supervisor is watching you, and these karmic friends. You could work with a lot of karmics or people that you thought was your friend or whatever the fuck. They um, are in competition with you type of thing. So what else for Capricorn spirit? <clears throat> Respond versus react. Express from a loving place. Old trigger or trauma yields drama. New beneficial thought patterns. Okay, so somebody here is trying to shift their perspective. They're trying to change how they think about certain things. I feel like somebody's becoming more spiritual as well. It says heart and mind union. Harmony of the heart, joy slash vision with mind, plan slash, a slash action, faster manifestation, higher vi highest vibration. So yeah, somebody is um, getting their heart and their mind on the same track here in order to make a, a good decision that's going to benefit the both of you or whatever. yeah so it says love where you are appreciate current circumstances ask yourself why you want what you want and see the beauty in it all so see the beauty in whatever this chaos is that's going on or whatever is going on in your life capricorn see the beauty in it because it's definitely a blessing in disguise here i feel like somebody has done this work they ask themselves why they wanted what they wanted it says dark is before dawn. Breakdown before breakthrough. Major shift is in progress. Dissolving barriers and ascending. So that's beautiful energy. You could be dealing with a uh, cancer. Somebody could have an Aquarius moon. Or you could, somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, it says creating reality. Live your best life by design. You have amazing experiences, freedom, lifestyle, infinite potential. So yeah, this could be about a, a business. Some of you guys could be artists. <laughs> you could be writers here. You could be trying to write a book or something like that. And I feel like it's going to set you up for greatness here if that's what you're trying to do. Some of you guys are trying to bring more laughter and joy into your life with these dolphins here. Ooh, my eye. <clears throat> I feel like you and somebody are about to get on the same page with these two people on this card here sharing each other's um what's on your mind your thoughts your vision shit like that 
So we have focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is time to go. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. Yeah, blessing in disguise. Thank you, Spirit. Didn't I just say this? Trustworthy guidance. So yeah, really trust your intuition here. I feel like somebody's having a hard time doing it, but I feel like they're going to come out of this. Okay. They are. Or this is you. So flip and switch it. But yeah. So this was your reading Capricorn. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on to all. Make sure you guys press the all button so you guys can get notified for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.